Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. We'll start out with the square. From the bottom left corner of the square, I'll draw a line segment to the interior with a length of 12. From the end point of this line segment, I'll construct a perpendicular going up and to the left with a length of 3. From the end point of this line segment, I'll construct another perpendicular that connects to the upper right hand corner of the square and this line segment has a length of 9. The question is, from the given information, what is x, the length of the square's side? Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. So before I present the approach that eventually led me to the answer, I want to go over some of the approaches that did not work for me. I first considered the right triangles in the interior of the square. While I could solve for the areas of these triangles and the hypotenuses of these triangles, this didn't lead me directly to the length of the square side. I then tried to work out the problem using coordinate geometry. But in spite of trying a few equations, I still wasn't able to solve for x. So then it struck me in the third approach I took to this problem. I imagined focusing on just the inside line segments in the interior of the square. I wanted to figure out the distance from end to end, so I considered what would happen if I rotated the figure so it'd be easier to analyze. Then it struck me. I connected the endpoints of these line segments, and then I realized we basically have one large right triangle. I can move the length of 9 down to form one leg of this right triangle, and then I can move the length of 3 over to create another leg of this right triangle. So we can then solve for the distance using the Pythagorean theorem. We have one leg of the triangle, that's 12 plus 9, or 21, and another leg, which is 3. So the length of the hypotenuse is the square root of 21 squared plus 3 squared. This becomes the square root of 450, which is also equal to the square root of 225 times 2, which then becomes 15 times the square root of 2. So now let's take this information and get back to the original diagram. We'll recreate our line segments on the interior of the square, and then we'll rotate them so that we have the distance from one corner of the square to the other corner of the square. We know the diagonal of the square is 15 square root of 2. That's what we calculated. And now we also know that the diagonal of the square is x times the square root of 2. This is because the diagonal of the square is the hypotenuse of a right triangle with two legs that are each x. So we can set 15 square root of 2 to be x times the square root of 2, and we can solve that x is equal to 15. And that's our answer. So it took a little bit of work to figure out what the length of the square side is, and sometimes in these problems, you have to approach them in more than one attempt. In this problem, it took me three attempts before I could solve it. Did you figure out this problem? And did you come up with another solution? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Press Hallwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.